It's Monday, October 13th, 2014. I'm Justin Hunt. This is DX Daily. Up first, Absol shared his thoughts on arguably the greatest battle in hip hop history. Speaking with Montreality, Soul said that he believes Jay Z defeated Nas in their historic clash back in 2001. Here's a clip. James? Jay Z, with like, with full conviction. I can quote you Nas' responses too, you know what I'm saying, word for word, but I just kind of feel like Jay uh, owned that battle. He kicked it off. I feel like he didn't even kick it off disrespectfully. He kind of kicked it off just in a sense of just kind of like taking that throne, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and that right, you know, it's gotta, gotta tip my hat to him, you know what I'm saying? So he wanted to be the king of New York, you know what I'm saying? Or king of rap or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he had to take that, to take that leap. Now this one will be talked about forever. Personally, I agree with Solo. Facts to me resonate more deeply than your mama jokes. But what do you think? Let us know in the comment section. Moving forward, things are looking a little restless over at Young Money Cash Money. Two artists signed to the label took aim at management over the weekend. Tyga set it off with a series of tweets by threatening to leak his album Gold, which he says has been finished but the label will not let him release the project. He called the music industry a devil's playground and stated that he won't be on Young Money for long. He quoted Tupac and dropped this t-shirt worthy tweet as well. Never bite the hand that feeds you, but never starve for the hand that doesn't. Then little twist, Twitter slapped the label the next day. Wow, I have the worst management team in the history of management teams, he said. Like, wow, this shit is crazy. All I want to do is drop music. Now, Lil Twist is managed by Cortez Bryant, who also manages Lil Wayne. Twist would later delete those tweets. Wrapping up, DX spoke with Method Man about his upcoming solo project, Crystal Meth. He explained to us exactly what's delaying the project. Here's Meth. Roll the clip, James. Can't get Rizzo on board for some reason. I'm trying, y'all. I've been speaking to him for the past three, four years. And I'm gonna give it to you, bro. I've been saying, fuck with me, fuck with me, fuck with me, Rizzo. Telling other people, tell Rizzo to fuck with me. Fuck with me, Rizzo. But he's a busy man. And I'm proud of him. Oh my God. He took it way further than I could have ever dreamed of. He's like fucking inspiration, real talk. Real shit. He should just get back in the studio with me one more time, that's all. Just one more time. Now, Method Man's last solo project, 421 The Day After, came out in August of 2006. Next month, Meth will celebrate the 20-year anniversary of Takao on November 15th. Those are the day's most interesting hip-hop headlines. Let us know what you think about in the comments section. And as always, for more music and news, visit hiphopdx.com.